Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you have not been here before, I would love to have you as part of the Stephanie's Journey family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about buying items in bulk and storing them and how I do that. I'm trying to get away from so much plastic, although I have not bought the plastic reusable bags as of yet. So if any of you guys know a good place to get some that are pretty good that you can wash out and reuse, comment below and let me know. I don't know how they do that as far as the tear because I don't want to be charged for them. So I don't know if you, know, you can do a tear for the bottle. I don't know if you have to take a empty bottle. I don't know how that works. So if anybody knows how that works, let me know because I actually will prefer to take the actual jars that I'm going to put them in and do it that way. So I went to Sprout and I got my bulk items and I didn't get a lot this time, but I got, you know, what I needed and I'm going to start doing this more often instead of buying it at the grocery store because it's so much cheaper to buy in bulk and just, you know, scoop it out of the bins. And Sprouts had a lot of organic stuff. They had stuff that wasn't organic, but they did have a lot of organic beans and nuts and things along those lines, which is what I, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to buy more organic items. So what I picked up is I got, and I cannot find my receipt. I searched high and low. So I think I actually threw it away in the bag because I cannot find it. But I got about a pound and a half of chickpeas. And what I'm going to do is take all of this stuff that I got and pour it into the cannon jars. And I have these small ones as well as the big ones. And I'm just going to put the items in the jars. I got two pounds of white regular sugar. And I got some organic pecans because I'm, I want to do a video on how to candy pecans, pecans, pecans. I call them pecans. Sometimes I call them pecans. To do that on this channel, to candy these, because I love them that way, and I prefer to do it, and I know what's in it. And then you can add a little bit of whatever you want to it. And I got some organic multicolored popcorn. I love popcorn, and I've stopped buying the popcorn in the bags, like the over red bucket and all of that. I actually just buy the plain popcorn, and I wasn't buying the organic. I was just buying the bag from the grocery store. And then I put it in a paper bag and put whatever seasoning I want on it. I put a little bit of oil in it. You don't have to put oil on it, but I just put a little bit of grapeseed oil in the bag and shake it up. And then I pour whatever seasoning I want on it. Like if I want it to be peppered, if I want it to be Cajun, if I want it, whatever I want it to be, I put that seasoning in there. You can put anything you want. If you want dill popcorn, you just shake the seasoning in the bag and then pop it and it's done in two or three minutes. You just it, you just roll the top of the bag down like you do making a lunch. You know, the paper bags you make lunches out of. Roll it down, put it in the microwave and listen for it to pop just like you would when you put it in other. It usually takes about the same amount of time, about three minutes. I always wait and listen to the popping and when it finished, just like you do regular popcorn so you don't burn it. But yeah, that is it. You can make any flavor you want and it's so much cheaper to do it that way as opposed to buying those microwave bags and if you don't want a microwave because some people don't like the microwave you can cook it on the stovetop i don't do too much cooking it on the stovetop because to me it takes way longer i just put that in the microwave so let's show how i'm going to can this stuff and stay tuned okay these are the items that i got and i keep my canning tops just in a little plastic container sometimes i put them back on it just depends but i got a bunch of these and let me see, I may need my, I'm very clumsy and I don't want this going everywhere. So I'm going to, well, I guess I can just do it this way. I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to cause a mess because I am so clumsy. You see, I already spilling them. So I don't have all of it in there. And I do not want these chickpeas all over my floor. So let's try this again and put them down in there. There we go. That works good. And I don't know how I don't know how big this jar is, but this is a good amount of chickpeas. 
And like when I soak them in the refrigerator, I put them in, I put them in this jar and I just soak I'm gonna do the same thing with the popcorn. And you can put these canning jars in the freezer. I didn't know that. I thought they would break, but I seen somebody else do it. And it, uh oh, this might be too much. And they didn't break in the freezer. So I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So comment below and let me know if you ever freeze these jars. I would love to know before I do it and see if they break for you. But the person I was watching was doing it and theirs did not break. And I'm gonna use this because I definitely don't want sugar everywhere. So I'm gonna pour the sugar in here first so it'll be easier for me to pour it out. And I guess if you want to, you can reuse these bags and take them back to the store. Just say the little numbers for them and then you can be resourceful that way if you don't have the plastic bags like me. But that has sugar in it and I'm not saving that. It might cause bugs or ants or something. And I'm funny about that. No, no bugs. I might have needed a bigger one for this, but we're going to see. Yeah, that one needs a bigger one and the popcorn one. I still have a little bit of popcorn left. I might just pop that and eat it. Then I won't have to worry about that. But let me get a big one for the sugar. I thought it would fit in that little one. I don't know how big these jars are. These smaller ones, I think these are quart size, maybe. And these are, I don't know. These are paint and these are quarts. So this is the paint, this is a quart. And that's all I have. I'm actually gonna put my nuts in here. And someone told me they keep their nuts in the refrigerator. They keep some fresher. I do not. Let me know if you keep yours in the refrigerator or not. And if it does, keep them fresher. I know, I don't know if it says that on the back. I usually buy my nuts from Costco because that's in bulk, but it comes in those plastic bins. But I save those plastic bins. Well, actually the pecans don't, but the mixed nuts do, which is the ones I buy and the cashews. But that's it. Those are the four things that I purchased. And what I do is take my label maker and put a label on them. But that's it. Put the tops on them and I'm ready to go. And this keeps your stuff fresh. Oops. Which is what you want. And these tops are actually the same. The same size fits on the jars. They all have the same size mouth on them. And I just took that one off, so we're going to use this one. And these are balls, and these are not. So let me put the right top on, because I'm a little OCD. Just a little. All right, that's it. Okay, that is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them below. As always, I answer each and every one of them. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by my channel and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>